I hired a couple of my best friends to come work for me, people I like loved and respected. And we just got so underwater and I found myself just working 24 hours a day to to help them and to make up for the things that I couldn't communicate to them. So I, I, you know, there was this there was this day where I, I walked through my life and I was like, OK, I have a doctor for a client. I went to the doctor this morning. All I could think about was that client. I went to lunch with a client. and All I could think about was my restaurant client, you know, and I, I was I went through my day all all throughout the day. I just my mind was just totally absorbed and stressed out with all these different clients that I just didn't feel like I could meet the needs of because it's all falling on me. And at the end of that day, I was like, I'm just, I'm failing. I'm failing everybody because we've got, um, I know how to do it. There's just not enough me's out there. And I, and I, I thought there's got to be a way to do this. And I could see that I was diminishing my employees. I was not really helping them with their own natural talents. They each brought something to the table and I wasn't helping them develop that. And frankly, I was too burnt out and exhausted to figure out how to do it all. You know, it was pretty obvious I was doing them a disservice and I I helped them find other jobs and I sort of offloaded some of my clients and I scaled down my agency so that it was just me doing the work. And I thought I'm gonna take myself out of leadership for a while and I'm going to study leadership and I will come back to it when I'm ready again. But right now, maybe I should never be a leader. I don't know. <laughs>